All right. So we know that the ERN, or air-related negativity, reflects intrinsic or inherent feedback. The oh crud moment, I knew as soon as I hit it that that didn't go well. On the other hand, imagine that I am teeing off to drive the ball. Not being a very good golfer, I don't know, I'm not going to be able to tell as soon as I hit it how far the ball went. Right? So let's say that I have to wait until someone can tell me your ball landed on the fairway and went 400 yards, or your ball went 50 yards and went off into the crowd and hit someone in the head. So in the first case, when I hit a nice shot, I want you to imagine that at time zero is when I get that augmented feedback. So the person tells me, check, you did great. If I take the brain activity, the event-related potential, beginning the moment at time zero, when I get that positive feedback, what we'll see is we'll see something that looks like in the green. Kind of this positive going activity about 300 milliseconds after I get the feedback saying, you did awesome. Alternatively, if I get the feedback that I hit the ball and it hit someone in the crowd and went into a lake because I stink, I'm going to get feedback that says, you know, X, you did bad. At time zero then, when I get that augmented feedback that I did poorly, 300 milliseconds after I get that feedback, I'm going to see this negative deflection in my ERP. And this is known as the FRN component, feedback related negativity. An important note, the fact that it's negative when I get negative augmented feedback and the fact that there's a positive component when I get positive feedback is a complete coincidence. It doesn't actually have to do with you know, the fact that one's positive feedback and one's negative. Um, it just happens that when I get negative feedback, I get this feedback related negativity saying, oh, you did bad. Importantly, we use both intrinsic or inherent feedback as measured by the ERN and augmented feedback as measured by the FRN to improve our performance. So, as someone goes through the stages of motor learning, they become better and better at detecting their own errors. So, Imagine that you had someone practicing golf and you were recording both their air-related negativities, where time zero is the moment they strike the ball, and their feedback-related negativities, where time zero is the moment they get feedback, augmented feedback, about the success of their shot. As they improve, you would expect that their air-related negativity would be larger when they make an air, but their feedback-related negativity would start becoming smaller. The reason is, when people practice something and learn, they get better at detecting their own errors. In other words, using their own intrinsic or inherent feedback. And that is measured by the ERN. When people learn and they get better at using their own intrinsic or inherent feedback, it's less important for them to use augmented feedback. A really good golfer doesn't need, typically, their instructor to tell them when they did poorly. They already know. So as you go through learning, your feedback-related negativity becomes smaller because you don't need that augmented feedback to tell you what you did wrong. You already knew what you did wrong as reflected by a large air related.